Hello, welcome. Today we're covering off an expert tip around Microsoft 365 integration that's available in SAP Business One version 10. Today we have Michael Neuendorf, Director of Consulting here at Third Wave, who's going to cover off this new feature in SAP Business One. But in general settings, one of the options in the path tab is instead of exporting to a local folder and then opening it up in Excel, you can integrate to OneDrive. You can select OneDrive. Now the system, the system administrator can then set up the OneDrive integration by clicking on this URL. So this becomes, this lights up when you select OneDrive. So you'll see if I selected local folder originally from like the 9.0 family of SAP, these are the two folders I'd see. If I select OneDrive, it flips to that. And then the administrator clicks in here to set it up. I'll take you there in a minute. I think what that does is when you get to a window, say like the sales order window, um, when you hit export, either to Word or Excel, I'll open up an existing order here. Uh, it asks this screen actually is a little different than it was when it was when it was only going straight to Excel, because what it would do when I go straight to Excel, it only imported the grid area of the document. In this case, it's like it's a whole document. And when it does it, it's going to flash. It opens whatever is my default browser. In my case, it's going to open the Office 365 app, log me into Office 365 with my login, and give me an export of that document. What it also did by doing that, um, when I created my Office 365 integration as a user, um, it actually creates a shared folder in my personal OneDrive that's called B1. I named it that. Well, it's the default and I just accepted it. And in that B1 folder, anything I export, so that document that I just exported about a minute ago, it showed up in my OneDrive and it's there, it saves it. So it keeps a running log of all my exports in my OneDrive. So that gives me the ability to reopen it from say like my, um, my regular OneDrive right here, right? like that synced OneDrive. Um, so I should be able to see it in there. There is the document. Um, so it happens, it, you know, that kind of works with any exports now. So for example, if I ran a query and I, I export that query, it'll do the same thing. Yes, uh, I don't need currency symbols. It no longer spits it out to, to uh, like a text file and then opens in Excel. It actually opens in Office 365 Excel. Then same thing, it'll create that in my my OneDrive folder as well, my sync OneDrive folder right there, which is that's just a sync of my online OneDrive folder. So it's really slick. So you don't technically need to have Office installed anywhere. It just opens there locally. So I can either open in Excel or open on my OneDrive Excel. I'm sorry, my Office 365 Excel. So what's involved in setting it up is actually quite easy. Again, the administrator clicks on that. You log into the SAP company. This is just your SAP login of an SAP admin. Now I'm already set up, so all it's doing is it's saying, here's all your templates that have already been pre-built for you. If you wanna update them, you can. So that was like the, the, the order quote, the order export that I showed you, this is the template for it. But if I wanna change it, create a new template, upload it, I can. When I, if I'm not set up, it takes me to this page. This will actually shortcut me to the Office 365 portal where I have to set that up. Um, and then it actually gives you the exact instructions on how to do it. So it, it puts the instructions in line. It says to go get an application ID, open up your app, you know, you create an app. There's also the help document, but it says go to the app, copy it from here, then to get the secret, go to this, go to the certificates and secrets menu copy the secret validation from that column, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on setting it up. And then a user, um, so this is me as a user. So if you remember, I said, you know, go put it into this local folder and stuff like that. This is my Office 365 info. So as the user, I was able to, I did this as the first time I did an export. It said, go log into Office 365. Where do you want to dump it? This is where it is. Um, and then I can override it just as a, again, as an end user, I can override it by going to my user settings, go to the services tab and click on this. And as the user, again, it'll take me to this page. And if I want to change what folder it puts it into OneDrive, I can. Super easy.
the performance looks a lot better than you know it firing like a native Excel file and then exactly. worrying about where it's saving that and whether or not you have the path to it. And, you got it right. You uh, and, and then that B1 enabled. share folder always, you know, just runs away on you too, right? Because it's just, you know, it's it's nonstop data on the server normally, right? Exactly. exactly. Uh, whereas putting it into OneDrive makes a lot of sense because now it's accessible, you know, both inside your SAP environment and also outside if you're not always connected into your SAP Business One environment. You got it. Um, the export to Word basically works the same way. Yeah, I saw in the setup there when you were going through it, there was DocX and uh, and Excel. Yep. So options. because then it kind of eliminates the need to have like and pay for Office and Excel and stuff like that on the cloud. I don't need it. I can actually just use the browser and then you know, if I'm on the cloud environment, I could just go to my local OneDrive over here and go pick it up and, you know, play with it in Excel locally if I want to. So it makes oh, so you don't have to put a like a Microsoft Cal on every user within the RDP because you can now use your 365. That's right. Yeah. So it also makes it a little bit more lightweight on the install for your cloud environment as well because you don't have to install and maintain updating Word and Excel in your RDP environments. You got it. So from a security perspective, that's pretty good too, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about like updates and all that to these like applications. Yep, and it, as long as we have the, um, and setting it up the first time, as long as we have a, a SAP administrator and an Office 365 admin login, it takes about 15, 20 minutes to get it set up at total. As the original SAP Business One Gold Partner in North America, Third Wave Business Systems in Wayne, New Jersey partners with hundreds of growing businesses, and we work hard to ensure that every one of them is grounded in the four C's. With SAP Business One at the core. Connected with their business ecosystem. Enabling everyone to communicate with the core and empowered with the control needed to thrive in a digital world. The four C's, third wave, and you. Talk to us.